Good afternoon, everyone. Weather chart shows shock drop in temperatures, UK. I thought, wait a second, we're still in summer because autumn doesn't officially begin until September 23rd. Media is absolutely just biting their nails, hoping that we get into autumn so they can explain the UK going below zero while we're still in summer. And I thought, that's really strange. I started looking around the temperature anomalies, the maps, and sure enough, it does show. And also shows that the water temperatures, look how much blue is out there, but at the right, Atlantic just below Greenland, very cold. And this will continue to affect Europe and the UK is moving forward. But at the same time, check out these lightning strikes in Italy right into the loading terminal. And join me for Mini Ice Age Conversations, episode number 101 with Piers Korb, an astrophysicist, giving us a forecast for sunspot predictions, solar cycle 25, the links to that podcast, as well as the images and stories tonight, are in the description box below. And as I was sent this link, I was shocked. I had to really delve into this. UK weather forecast temperatures to plummet to minus 2C coming up later in the week here. And up in Scotland, Northern Ireland, they're looking for below zero below freezing temperatures and it's still summertime. Sure enough, across the UK media, you're gonna find weather reports, forecasts, warnings, UK weather set for fierce storms, below zero temperatures, North Sea storms, early winter freezes, and it's still summertime. A glimpse in here from the Met office at the low that's going to be swinging by through the week dropping temperatures. Now currently some areas are 14, 15 degrees Celsius, which is well below what it should be in summertime in the UK, and it's gonna drop. They're even gonna get frosts or temperatures just above freezing. Now see, the media doesn't wanna to touch this because they are biting their nails waiting for autumn to start because it's very inconvenient to report freezes, frosts, while it's still officially summertime. Autumn officially begins on September 23rd, so until that point, you're really not going to hear, oh, it's normal in autumn for early frost because it's still summer. So wherever we're seeing this, these early snows across the Northern Hemisphere, media's trying not to touch it too much and rephrase it so it's still not freezing in summer, but they have to report the news in these local areas because when airports are affected, it does tend to make news. Here we go. Weather chart shows shock drops in temperature across the UK. Now there's more temperature drops on the way. And again, they keep referring to minus 1C, which is around 29 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 2C, 28 degrees Fahrenheit or so. So taking a look here at Null School, which I've also linked below in the description box. I was up there where they're talking about Scotland, uh, Ireland as well. Temperature that I put in the pin there, that green circle, 7 degrees Celsius, that was back on the 3rd. And as we move forward to today, you can see it's dropped to 5.6 Celsius. That's at 11 a.m. So as you move forward through the day, it might warm. But if it's 11 a.m. temperatures and still just barely above freezing, what are you going to get when you come into the next couple of nights that they're talking about here in this report? I'm taking a look at the temperature anomalies. I see red over in Europe and some North Africa, but that blue in Ireland and exactly Scotland, Wales there is what I'm looking at, UK. And off to the west, more cold on the way. We get through the 6th, 7th, and 8th, and this is where the real cold is going to hit in these same areas. And you can already see that dark, dark blue, 6 or more degrees Celsius below normal temperatures. And WX Charts also showing the same thing, and you could just see that progression from the 3rd through the 8th here. All has to do with the cooling Atlantic water temperatures. You can see the extreme cold not only in Hudson Bay, right up in Canada. Look how cold that is. going to freeze so quickly this year. But that incredible cold just below Greenland and Iceland, that's going to cause cooling temperatures in the UK and Europe this winter. Speaking of that, they're going to have more ferocious rains, which we're starting to see here. This is at the border of Slovenia, Croatia, northern Italy, where you see that dark gray and white. That is torrential atmospheric compression event, all-time record rains falling in these spots, eclipsing what came down two months ago. This is exceptional rain. Towns and streets are going to become rivers in their main thoroughfares. 
Now also staying in Italy, take a look at the lightning at this loading port that's coming down. Struck that ship that's there. Wide out here so you can really get a glimpse of that would be terrifying to be out on that loading terminal. And then even just sitting inside the port itself. Looks like a couple of the cranes there were struck as well as, wow, that'd be really close to that Maersk liner. If you were out on deck there, whoa, that would, if you had a camera, that's a viral video. And as always, thanks for watching the video. I hope you got some information out of it. Cooling temperatures coming, extreme cold winter on tap, trueleafmarket.com, sprouts, microgreens. You're seriously going to need to start growing some of your own food in the very near future. The Adapt 2030 link is below in the description box. Again, with the podcast tonight, Beers Corbin with the Solar Cycle Forecast 25. And I wish you the best of luck in your preparations.